Yes guys, Tom Maroney here, your custom tactics king. 4-3-3 third variation, one of my favorite formations to use this year. It's one of those formations, guys, where I feel like if nothing's working, what I'll do is I'll go switch to this quickly in um, in the menu screen on uh, during the game. Now, a lot of people have been using this as a main formation ever since I released the last video, which did amazing, by the way, guys. So make sure to go and check that out. Or don't, because this is exactly it, but tweaked and made better, guys. So here we go, the 4 3 3 third variation, guys. One of the most unconventional uh, formations anyone can technically use this year, because it's, it's just unconventional, it's different. Uh, 42 width, 60 depth, last time I think it was 45 width. Yeah, drop it just a bit, guys, just a little bit, like 50 cent. You know, we're dropping it a little bit, because look, we need these players to be bit more compact you know the problem with the 4 3 3 is the middle is never compact enough uh, to defend especially against people that are doing quick 1-2 passes and skills so 4 3 3 third variation can kind of counter that by going 42 with for 60 depth build up play guys we're going to keep it balanced and we're going to have direct passing as a chance creation that's going to stay the same nothing's really changed for in terms of that because it is still the most effective thing in the game so direct passing has to be there meanwhile the 433 doesn't really lend itself as a model to any of the rest you know long ball not really necessary fast build up you'll just lose players all over the place slow build up not necessary in a formation that is very fast at counter attacking direct passing is the only thing that's kind of necessary width guys uh, we're going to be dropping it to 43 uh, just because we want to make sure that the players are close enough for us to pass between them six players in the box because we're trying to push everyone in there and now let's get into the instructions the most important part guys stay forward stay central on the striker no getting behind and I'll tell you why no getting behind because you need the striker to receive the ball and help out the wingers in passing. Someone like Depay is perfect for his, for this kind of a role. He's kind of like the perfect centre forward in a way. Um, he can fulfil this role absolutely perfectly. Meanwhile, the left mid and the right mid are going to um, get in behind to kind of make sure that they can cover that kind of side of things, guys. So you need them to get in behind, make those runs for you. Meanwhile, your striker is the one that receives the ball, passes off to them, and obviously your centre mid will be able to help you out in that as well, in terms of that. Uh, get forward on the on the centre mid, but you want them on to stay on the edge of the box for cross and cover centre. Now, the reason why you want them to stay on the edge of the box kind of simple really guys you want them to stay on the edge so that they can help out in defense really quickly and get the ball back if they just run into the box then you won't be able to do that and you know what players like Bruno just generally cams they will be running in there and from time to time anyway so you don't have to worry about that the instruction means that most of the time they would stay there but sometimes they will run in so it's good for a cutback as well guys it's a great option now one of your center defensive midfielders are going to be on cover center stay back and uh, cut passing lanes and that's going to be your more kind of box-to-box -box kind of player. He's going to be on staying back, cover center, car pass and lanes. Car pass and lanes just so they're a bit more aggressive in trying to get the ball back. Stay back while attacking the cover center, obviously for those reasons themselves, defending. Meanwhile, your other CDM, guys, this gets where it gets weird, is going to be on drop between defenders, cover center, and free roam. Now, this happened last time where a lot of people were thinking I'm an absolute maniac for doing this. But drop between defenders and cover center works so well in this because it means he'll drop just below Endombele, helping out the two at the center back positions. And then free roam means that he'll also be trying to get the ball back a lot quicker, guys. For some reason, this works extremely well in this tactic. So, um, you know, kudos to it being a great method of getting all back um your left back right back are going to be on stay back while attacking but overlap uh, i didn't have that last time but i think it's very important to make sure you can release your wingers very quickly so you need this overlap option there as well guys comes for crosses as always uh for the goalkeeper so that he doesn't mess around and guys let's get into the gameplay here we are guys with the formation four three three third variation look at this guy's end on belly straight on the ball i don't know when the belly is actually doing all the way up there but that's all right um i think it's just because the the old tactics are still in place so we need to wait for it to activate kind of but as you guys can see bruno gets it to end on belly beautiful little pass to dembele who i'm trying to use to cut in but there you go see to many just drops between defenders guys he drops in between those two center backs as you saw there um, which is exactly what I wanted him to do anyway. It's kind of, you know, if someone's a defensive rat like this guy is, because you can already see how much he's backing off into the defense. Th this gives you a lot of time to organize um, and get your players in position. Like I said, 
Hopefully the tactic is activated so we can see it. But here's Kimpembe getting the ball back for us. Straight into the wing where Chong is. Which means that it should be activated now. Chong can be released by Depay. Who like I said. Him being on stay central stay forward. And no getting behind instruction. Means that he puts himself in these positions where we need him. And that is exactly what we want to be seeing. Look at this little diamond we had in there. Which stressed out our opponent a bit more. Sadly our right back's kind of gone out of position. I don't know why my opponent's going for that. Like mate this isn't like... Seriously, mate, relax. Bruno, though. Gonna get Bruno to obviously get forward because we need him to. But look at the pie. Always slots into that role to help out the wingers. And that's what you need, guys. Otherwise, you know, a lot of people will tell you, our oh, game and game behind is a striker, he's a striker. Guys, it's a striker. You'll get there anyway. You don't even have to tell him that. That's a foul, and I knew it was going to be a foul, so I just let myself be fouled. Yellow card for Renato. Oh, here we go, the Bruno. Bruno, look at this. Boom, boom. Chong, unlucky son. Could have turned inside a bit more. That's on my. That's on me. That's on me. Here we go. My opponent going down. Sides. <sighs> Beautiful work from Bruno. Beautiful. I defended that well with Kimpembe there. Stopped him from passing there. The Dembele straight to the pie, like I said. You know, that kind of space that you see between the players, which sometimes can be a negative thing. It isn't when you've got a striker that can hold up the play very well. Um, this doesn't mean you're allowed to get Kane now or something, guys. Don't. Seriously, don't get Kane. But it means that you it just, I don't know, it lends itself to what you're trying to do a bit more. Tyron Mings, look at that. Dembele. Oh, look at Dembele. Oh, look at Dembele. The pie. My opponent is so defensive. Look at this, man. Can't believe what I'm minutesing. Look at this defending from my opponent, man. He's just defending. He's doing nothing else. Unfortunately, higher divisions means more rats. It's just I didn't expect anyone to play so drop back. Of course, he's going to take random long shots, man. Creativity levels are at their lowest uh, with this guy. Um, as we try and please not concede from that. Oh my god, none of these glitches, man. I don't want to end up on a reel somewhere. Go on, Chong. Beautiful. Bruno, go on. Oh, I, tr I should have put the pie through. I should have. That was a good chance, man. That was a good chance. As you guys can see, the striker will still get in behind. Um, it doesn't change, you know, the fact that he's a striker. It's in his nature to get in behind, guys. Look at his work rates. That shows you everything you need to know. Um... Oh, I got sent. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man, if that goes in. You didn't even see that pass. Here we go. Klaus, bang. Bang, get the pie into that position once again. Bruno for the layoff. Oh, ref. I mean, not ref. EA. EA. EA, man. Stop with this lag. Looks like we all have to deal with it, man. Unreal. Whatever you do, the lag appears. Oh, my days, man. Ah, pain. Pain, pain, pain. Pain, because when you face someone this defensive, the last thing you want to do is concede, because you know that they're going to defend for the rest of their life. All they now have to do is park a bus. Shame they can't use that in real life and get a job with it. Oh my god, it's Kante, man. Seriously, Kante is overrated to the max in this game. Here we go. Look at this. It's got them smiling merchants after me, man. It's got them smiling merchants after me. It's a side, man. Come on. This is what I'm saying, man. Here we go, Klaus. Oh, you're going, Klaus. That's a turn. That's nonsense, man. There's, what? There's no way he gets out of that like that. Just trying to get the ball back a bit more hastily here. That's why if I don't win that header. Oh, my God. Yeah, get Dembele. Beautiful. Depay. Can we release Dembele? Yes, we can. Come on, Dembele. Come on, Dembele. Oh, my God, man. That's not foul, I don't know what it is. 
try and get the ball back too quickly means that Sunday's will be in a dangerous, dangerous position right now. Um, but it is what it is, sadly. We have to go with that. Ref? No? Okay. I don't know. I don't I don't know what match you're watching at this point. Let's try when he gets the ball back beautifully. The ref is against us here and that's causing us problems really. But that doesn't mean anything because the match is still on. Unreal man. Sometimes it's the only way to defeat people. It is. It just is. Gotta do what you can. Now it will force him to come out a bit more unless he's playing for a goddamn drawing rivals, which honestly, I wouldn't be shocked by now. Go on, Charmini. Cut inside there, beautiful. The pie is on that run. The pie, beautiful 2 1. And that's that, guys. The 4 3 3 works its magic. The pie. I said to you guys, you're always like, oh, he's not gonna get in behind. Guys, he gets in behind, man. He does. And he does the job absolutely perfectly. We're going to do it again, guys, because sometimes we need to serve the hammer of justice against these people. Against these absolute frauds. If you want to play defensive, you can play defensive, man. But I'm going to utilize everything I can. Get, get down to the ground. All he can do is shoot from the fangos. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, what is this? What is this maneuver, man? Get out. And Dombele gets the ball, banged up high. Got no one to supply, though. That's why we get a bit stuck there. He's going to try and get Salah through. Get him out. Beautiful. The pie's there. Receives the ball. I see the run from Char um, Chong. Chong is on the other side. Dombele. Oh, lucky. Give me that. Come on, Mings. Beautiful. Look at that. The pie. Alright, Pai, nah, Chong, go on, go on, Chong, on the overlap, the Pai's in the box, I wanted to shoot that first time, but you see guys, Bruno's on the outside of the box, look how he can press now, yes, we didn't get the ball back this time, but if you have someone better than that, and someone faster, he could have had the ball there, and that's exactly what I mean, why you need Bruno on the outside there. So yes, guys, I hope the 4-3-3 was effective, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, peace.